Hello there everyone and welcome to Let's Play Silver Surfer on the NES. Everybody knows about this game, it's a shoot 'em up and it's considered to be one of the worst games of all time because it is supposedly way too unfair and way too difficult. But honestly, Life Force and Gradius are considered to be great shoot 'em ups and they're much more difficult than Silver Surfer is. So I just wanna quickly beat this game and show you guys that this is really not even nearly as hard and unfair as everybody says. The music on the title screen is freaking awesome. It was composed by Tim Follum and he is very very no well known for having made absolutely great NES music. So let's just go, let me press start. Uh, that did nothing, let me do it again. Ah, pressing start, start pauses the demo. I have to press A to get back to the main screen, okay. Let me press start now, there we go. Galactus, why have you summoned me? I have need of you, surfer. This universe is threatened from beyond. This text is scrolling automatically, by the way. Beyond? I'm not pressing any buttons. The evil forces of the magic domain are almost upon us. Only by recovering the cosmic device can all be saved. And if I refuse? You must not. Upon this, all life depends. And after this very, very epic dialogue exchange, we can start the game. And um, we can already now see the reason why this game is much less unfair than it, it is being given credit for. I mean, look at this. We have a stage select screen. That is already a huge freaking advantage. I mean, the problem with many NES games is that if you die, you go back to stage one. And what does that mean? That, that, first of all, that is frust frustrating, you must redo shit that you've already done before, it wastes a lot of time, and it means that you cannot practice the later stages where you actually need to practice. However, this problem doesn't exist in Silver Surfer. You can practice any stage at any given time you want. That's already um, great, but even more so, you can use this Strategi strategically to your advantage in a very obvious way. And I mean, what way is that? Well, of course, you just start with the easiest stage and power yourself up there so that you are um, ready for the more difficult stages. And let's be honest, once you're fully powered up in this game, you're almost indestructible. Um, so yeah, th this is absolutely fantastic. And um, I could start with any of those um, four stages here. I've managed to um, beat all of them with, with um, starting without any power-ups, um, provided that I play with a turbo controller, which I'm not, uh, which I haven't activated yet, which I have not activated yet. But the only really, really difficult and insane stage is Mephisto here. So um, the main strategy really is to pretty much just just start with Reptile stage here. Reptile. Um, is in my opinion by far the easiest stage in the game and then um, you immediately um, try Mephisto after that and if you fail then you just re redo um, Reptile so yeah th that's really not too bad and let, let me actually demonstrate Mephisto stage here there we go Mephisto section 1 player 1 let's go we cannot hold down the A button we have to manually keep pressing those ghosts are flying in an insane pattern we're already dead I probably won't have time to explain the mechanics of this game yet before I die. Normally, um, you can study an enemy type's behavior, and then you can just memorize how an enemy behaves and act um, accordingly. However, as you can see, um, this isn't really um, the case in this game, because the ghosts in the beginning, um, even although they were the same enemy, they were flying around in different ways. That was a stupid death here. Let us, let us um, look at this ag um, again. Well, we start and ghosts come from below and then j they just go up and left and then the next sets of ghosts which um, feature three ghosts each they just move slightly forward then they trawl around a little bit and then they go go more forward here the first set is differently they, they just move up and left the other guys are trawling around um, like fuck so yes um, I mean you can still memorize the entire game I mean the beginning ghosts will always do the same the beginning ghosts will fly up the other ghosts will twirl around, but still, you cannot technically memorize just single enemy types. They will always just fly around weirdly um, and um, and differently. That's the that's the point. They always fly around differently. 
Need to mash the buttons faster, because this is really, really insane. There are those gargoyles here, you might remember them from the AVGN review. If you don't kill them in time, they fly around very weirdly. You collected the letter F, which stands for firepower, I guess? It makes your shots stronger. And it also allows you to, shot them, uh, to shoot them at a greater fire rate. And the bat just killed me by flying around in this erratic pattern. And so it's game over already. Game over, player one. Start to continue, select to quit. We will quit because we don't want to waste to continue. You have three continues. Um, then that, that's um, that's that's okay, I guess. I mean, limited continues usually suck, but they are of no problem here, as I said, because you can practice any stage at any time. And once you've nailed them down, continues are absolutely no problem. Let me now um, activate the turbo. Actually, um, I don't think that that activating a turbo um, is that advanta advantageous or that much cheating here. I will explain later why. I think it's um, perfectly okay to use a um, turbo controller here. Let's see. We have the A button here. We will deactivate it, but we will activate a turbo instead. There we go. Tur turbo is now activated, which means that we can now hold down the A button to shoot instead of um, ma t mashing the button like, like a maniac. I don't want to quit the game. What am I doing? Ah, there we go. Okay. And now let's actually... Um, um, fulfill the plan that I was talking about and start with Reptile stage because it's by far the easiest. Reptile, section 1, player 1. There we go, now we can hold it down the A button. As you can see, um, currently at maximum we can have two bullets on the screen at once. There are a bunch of fish flying around. Um, the walls are solid. Um, our bullets cannot face through them. If your bullets can't face through the walls then, then it means that this is a solid wall and touching it will kill you. We've collected a power-up, this weird disc thing, which is now positioned under Silver Surfer and now it can um, shoot too, which is very useful. We also collected one letter F. The first letter F um, increases your um, amount of bullets that you can have on screen. I think we can now have three or four bullets on screen at max. And that's another letter F. So yes, um, the letter F will increase both fire rate and shot strength. So it's very important that you um, level, um, power yourself up. We're already almost full. Um, the bullet of our helper thing is already turned red in color, indicating how strong it is. And now we're already um, pretty much fully powered up. Um, our, our power meter in the lower right is full. We collected four letters F, which um, brought us from one ball of power to all five balls of power. By the way, there's the letter B in the lower left corner, which stands for bomb. You can fire a bomb by pressing select. It will kill all enemies on the screen. Very useful if you're um, in desperate need of, 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 of help. But yeah, so far we're not having any problems at all. I'm just told... Um, yeah, by the way, let me explain something. Um, I don't think that using a turbo is that much of cheating because... Wait. Did you hear that sound? That sound um, uh, that happened after I collected the letter F. That occurred because I was already at full firepower, you know, five balls of balls of firepower there in the lower right corner, or circles. Oh, I um, accidentally destroyed the other disc power up there. And yeah, so I already was at full firepower, so when I collected another firepower upgrade, it made that happy sound effect. And um, as a result, we got 4,000 points. Yeah, if you already have maximum um, power-ups of some sort and you collect one more, then you and it makes that sound that you get 4,000 bonus points. That's, um, that's what you get for already being fully powered up. As you can see, we are incredibly strong now. Look at this mini-boss. I'm just standing here, and he's already dead. That's insane. If you don't have that, that much firepower, then he takes much longer. And so Section 1 is already completed. Reptile Section 2. And now we're in a diff different um, game mechanic. It's an overhead view. That's an S. S stands for speed. As you can see, um, Silver Surfer is now moving faster. And yeah, we are totally destroying those enemies with our full firepower. In the overhead view, you have to um, watch out that you don't touch any walls. You have to watch out what is a wall and what isn't. Um, there's another one of, of those discs. Now we are completely full fully powered up. We have two... Oh wow, those red things almost hit us. We barely destroyed them in time. But yeah, one shot is enough to kill them and that allowed me to qu quickly destroy them before they touched me. We got a bomb there for destroying the cannon. 
So yes, we are fully powered up. We have two of those helpful disc things. One to the left and one to the right. Then we got another one. It made that sound effect. Then we got 4,000 points. We already have 65,000 points. We get an extra life for every 100,000 points, I think. So yes, two of those helpful disc things and um, four letters F for maximum firepower. That's all it takes to be fully powered up. And now we are nearly indestructible. We are incredibly strong right now. This thing is always dangerous in the middle there. For some reason it won't destroy it get destroyed in one shot. The silver letter S is an extra silver surfer, an extra life. Those turtles drop another letter F. Yes. We already have three bombs too, in case we need them. But yeah, um, so the reason why I... No, no let's wait here. Let's um, take down this mini boss. I just stand there, hold down the A button. And um, there we go. Destroyed. Doing By pretty much doing absolutely nothing. Having full firepower. Good job, player one, section completed. So yeah, the reason why I don't think that using a turbo controller is um, that bad here in this game is because, as you can see, my fire rate, even with the turbo controller, isn't ridiculously high. We're in section 3 here, by the way. I think if we wait too long, then the, this screen will disappear automatically. Yep, it just did. There's a few um, pterodactyls flying at us and a few fish from behind. Enemies from behind are usually really mean, but um, yeah, in this game it's all perfectly acceptable. Yeah, in this section here, you better um, be in the middle instead of the left. Did you hear that, uh, that sound effect? We did just get an extra life for reaching 100,000 points. So yes, my fire rate, um, even with the... Oh, shit. Ah, that was bad. That was unexpected. Okay, I just died, which means that I lost all my power-ups. That's kind of bad. That defeats the entire purpose of, purpose of why I even went to this stage. Okay, I can deal. Let me get that F. And... Um, destroy these guys. So yes, as you can see, even with the turbo controller, my fire rate isn't that high. You can perfectly achieve this rate of fire manually by tapping the A button fast enough. That's why I have no problems with using a turbo controller. It's really not that advantageous. It really just means that it's um, less tiring for your thumb um, because you don't mash the button like an asshole, but you just hold it down. It's really just for convenience reasons. You can perfectly achieve this fire, ra fire rate without the turbo controller. That's why I don't feel bad about using a turbo controller. So yeah, this boss, Reptile, he's shooting his stuff out of his mouth. There's pterodactyls flying um, above the water and there's an occasional fish coming down below the water. But it's a really easy boss. You can destroy um, those bullets that Reptile is firing. But you don't need to. If, if we were fully powered up, we could just stand there and um, destroy his bullets very quickly and just fire at his mouth and um, we, we could literally just stand there and win the fight without moving but since we only have um, three balls of fire in the lower right corner now and we have to move and dodge his shots too as you can see he now really takes a lot of hits he's dead now would have been a lot of fast um, would have been a lot faster if we hadn't died congratulations the device piece has been surrendered we have defeated the first stage in the game yeah reptile stage is by far the easiest of the game We've um, gotten back the first piece of the device piece, um, the upper piece up there that was flashing. And that is in color now. We're back to the stage select screen. A again, I really can only stress that it is absolutely great that you can choose which stages to play. Because now I can also um, act by strategy. Um, because I remember that... Um, I think it was this guy. I think it was Emperor's stage, which was also fairly easy. So I will do this, this one next in order to um, hopefully power myself up and get ready for Mephisto here. Um, but I will do that in the next part, guys, because I don't have much time right now. So, um, see you!